Hey guys, that's Bano. You may be wondering why I'm outside here. I was just killing myself just so I can get some health. Because I don't know why I'm on full health. You get full health if you get 100 crystals, so. Anyway, in the last fight we stopped the train and we also thawed some gobos, but in this stage we've got the worst one. That big, meany Roger Red Ant. He kidnapped gobos, tied them all to crates of dynamite. He's going to blow them all into next week if Croc not stop him. Yeah. Okay, so we got Roger Red Ant. I'm Roger Red Ant, and I'm going to blow you to smithereens. Anyway, I'm doing this on a second take, by the way. I'm, this is the second take of this. I cleared the first time, but I seem to miss one of the crystals. And five of the... Five of the regular crystals. Uh, anyway. You're going to need an extra Clockwork Gobbo. Not because... You'll need two. You only need one, but one of the thingos is really tough. Uh, but anyway, and you also need that blue gummy for there. I think that's about it. Um, but anyway, yeah, this stage... So many bombs. So many bombs. Holy crap. Um, so anyway, there's... Four sections of this. We have to have some fun and try to get the bomb box at the end of the corridor before it explodes. There's four times when you'll need to do that. And at the end of each of these, there's a there's a side section as well, where you've got to rescue Gobbo. But, jeez, this stage is just annoying as... Oof. Okay, now watch out, because there's a time limit right about now. You want to get that if you want to get all the crystals. Anyway, um... Look at this! Bombs everywhere! Bombs! Ah, ah. This is why it's my least favorite stage. It's a good stage, but it's so annoying at this point of the game. Look at this, they barely give you any time. The music's good. Does it. So yeah, the Dantinis are red instead of purple, and instead of flinging blue stuff, they fling red stuff that looks like fire. They've got their horns and their pitchforks. You've got a big red evil thingo, and there's lava and red things everywhere. Huh. Not provoking any imagery, are we? Nope. Um. The other thing is that that that's the only other that's the only second section where it's timed. Although the next bit you have to rush anyway. What I mean that uh, that's the only section at the end of one of these where you actually have to rush because it's a time limit. So th even even this stage has several different aspects about it. Like, you've got the bomb walking, which is annoying, you do that four times, you've got the clocks which you got to set off, you've got boxes, you've got fuses, you've got fireballs and whatnot later in the stage. Anyway, yeah, so these things, the first one you set off, every, all of the red, oh crap! I don't want to die again. That's not good for my health. I swear, I don't know where you get more hearts, but... Ah! <laughs> but yeah, so much platforming and... Oh my gosh. Don't die, don't die, don't die. Anyway, so yeah, these things, they, they set off the first one you jump on, and then, yeah, that jump, you gotta make sure you get that guy, and then you gotta run pretty quickly for the next two, and then you get the crystals, because otherwise then you don't get the crystals, and you're just like, ah, but once you clear both of them, then you can move on to the next room. I could probably get another heart, but, 
Yeah, okay, I'll do it. Getting that hot by getting those 50 crystals. Oh, by the way, yeah. In my failed recording, I missed that. And on your first go, you may be going, how the heck would you know that? But that's there. And this is where I missed that. It's five crystals and that colored crystal. That's the only bit I missed. So it's not it's not bad getting full hearts, but there's better stages in getting all the crystals. Because one, this is a long stage. And two, it's difficult as. Watch out for my swinging fireballs. And also, why why would you grind crystals on the stage where you have to pay? You may as well just do it on the stages that don't have any crystal ones. The hang glide one is actually a very good one. But yeah, swinging fireballs. Holy crap. Where the heck did you buy these? I don't think I saw these on eBay. <laughs> but thankfully this is the second last one. But those jumps, man, those jumps across the pits, they're just mean. Anyway, so thankfully there's no time limit on this. But you want to be careful nonetheless. So watch out for the steam. See if Al will get you. Also, by the way, you, yeah, remember this kind of floating platform thing -o that was used in like one stage? of the first game. Yeah, they use it kind of a few times. Especially at the end stages. They use it quite a few times. Uh. Anyway, we've got the gobbo. Down the pit we go. Okay, we've got one more side section, and then... Actually, no, there's... Ooh. Ooh. Okay, this is the last one where we gotta carry a bomb. My rolling barrel will make rock go kaboom. Anyway, <laughs> the music is awesome as always. Go watch out for that barrel. I think that's the only one actually. This bit. Wait, is this the one with the narrow jump? It's got that. That's pretty annoying, but it's, it's not the one. You are forced to do some really narrow jumps. That's why I'd really like to get more crystals. Anyway, no time on it again, but. Oh gosh, you gotta be kidding me. Crap. And I don't think there's any hearts up ahead. Oh, got it. Alright. See, look at this! Holy crap! I, I, I jumped too early, I was going, oh. Thanks for constantly reminding me that I've got no health. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Okay. Go. Okay, I'm good. Ah. But still, okay. Go on to the next bit, because I believe all the crystals are after this. Yeah, well, the last, last set of crystals are just here. Yeah. Last 12, I think. So thankfully I can fill all my health once I do this. But I got two because, okay, in order to get the last crystal, you need to really cut corners on this, and you can't really cut corners that much when trying to get all the crystals. So I'm not going to get that. That's why I said bring two, because you're going to need two. Ah, yeah, you see? I got full health. I'm happy there. Yeah, cut the corners like a champ. But well, I was gonna miss the crystals. And I oh crap, what the heck? Keep going! <laughs> what the heck happened there? You may be going, okay, but you've got all the crystals, but you're missing one of the colored ones. Well, actually, this this last one, they give it to you pretty much. And then, Golden Gobbo. I'm not gonna clear it unless I get the Golden Gobbo. And look at this. It's actually not that bad, to be honest. Yeah, it's fine. It's oh, crap! Ah! Oh, CD. Oh, gosh. 
restart. Okay, let's see if I can do this again in one go. Let's see if I can do this in one go. Go on. You can do it. Yeah. All right. Golden Gobbo time. Got it. Got him. Okay. So um. Yeah. Anyway, so we got two side sections. This one's a little bit different. Now, we have all the crystals, we have pretty much everything, so don't worry about looking out, just go for the objective. But this one, a fuse goes off and you have to outrun the fuse, which means... Yeah. Now, if you fail, you can go up the side passage, but I believe you have to keep retrying if you do fail. Now this is what I hate, this is the only time we actually have to do it, but if you fail you have to do these more, the jumping. I know it's like, well you need the practice, but those platforms are like incredibly tiny. How are you supposed to do any of this without tank control, seriously? I always just keep referring to that, I mean like how do you do that? And I know people are going to be like, oh, it's released on the PlayStation and there weren't any tank controls there, so it was possible there. Yeah, I know. My, I, I just grew up with the tank controls, and that's why I kind of see it. I know there'd probably be a method of doing it without the tank controls, but still! Gosh! And then you got this! Well, I understand you can do this without tank controls. It'd be kind of annoying with the camera, but... So we rescued all the gobbos. So yeah, apparently it's triggered by rescuing the gobbos. You can die after getting a gobbo. It only matters if you collect the gobbo. Anyway. And what's our payoff? You have fallen into my trap, little croc. Take this, huh? What's wrong? Gobbo's rewire bomb! Watch your go kaboom! Oh no! Yes, we just literally exploded him. Thank you, croc. No problem. Anyway, we'll keep on going. Um, oh my gosh. Uh, that went on for much longer than I had really intended. I didn't intend to play the whole thing three times. But three times, gosh. And now it's done. It's done. La la la, 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 la la la. How much is the pot? 250, okay, I was going, hmm. Actually, I already have enough. What's the point? Anyway, so we could go for the boss, but I'm actually going to go for the Golden Gobbo stage straight away. May as well. Anyway, so this music's playing, but that's okay. Let's. We're actually doing kind of well in getting all the crystals. I'm. I, I was kind of surprised that we wouldn't get all the crystals besides the snowball stage. Well, crap. Just realized. Gotta watch out for those. Does this count as a different stage? Because they're doing something different. They're chucking explosive barrels at us. What the heck? Okay, come on. The first stage kind of involved explosives, but that was for a good course. Oh, gosh. Um. But the train... The train and Roger Red Ant, both ex and this stage, all involved explosives in a negative aspect. And you know what, no one's even chucking them. Although, the, the geometry of the stage looks kind of similar. Except there's an avalanche. Watch out for the avalanche. <laughs> Jeez, just casual avalanche. Um, but yeah. Alright, come on. DJ. Yeah, the Ice World's probably my second least favorite. I, I don't know, I'm not a big fan of the Dinosaur World, which is the next one, spoilers. Uh, but, um, it does have some good, some good design in that one. 
I, I like that. This one's just kind of annoying. It's annoying in a good aspect. It's not as in it's just designed poorly. It's just designed in a very frustrating way. Jeez, CD lag. Why is it that if the CD lags and the game freaks out? Maybe a no CD crack would probably fix it, but it's kind of stretching into illegality, and I don't know how many people actually would say, Oh, yeah, Croc 2 for PC, yeah. Make a no CD crack. Kind of strange, the first game actually was that you were able to play without the CD, except it wouldn't play the music. But it's supposed to not play the music if you've got the if you're not using the CD, but apparently it did it either way for me. Thankfully, it does the piranha plant tactic of not not actually sending another attack when you're right next to it. That's the name for it, right? The piranha plant tactic. Hi, yeah, yeah. But anyway, yeah, this stage isn't actually that bad, to be honest. There's the jiggy. Go get the key first. It's, it's not that bad of a stage, it just involves a lot of stuff. Yeah, it just involves a lot of, you know, timing and whatnot. Not even timing, it's just kind of go across the bridges and stuff. Yeah, it's a nice, calm, relaxing stage. You can see the back of a wall over there. Good job, Argonaut. You can see the back of the wall. It's kind of weird. You come out of... You, you can see the back of the part where this comes in. Why can't this just be its own part, considering the rest of the stage is over there? Maybe they don't expect people to have such a high draw distance. <laughs> In which case, wow, considering I can't see the chest over there, but I can see the rest of the stage. Jeez. Don't know what's going on there. Anyway, got the key. Go all the crystals. Don't really need to grind crystals that much if you go over 100 every time. Because, you know, quite a few of the stages give you... Don't use anything. Three of the stages in this world didn't use any... Any objects. Anyway, we got the jiggy and we're out, which means it's boss time. Um, what are you gonna say? Croc, Flavio, the thermal fish is trying to heat up the village. Everything will melt. Use the balloon. Try to stop him. This is a very fancy boss. You gotta hold down space, pick up a cube, not touch the ground. I believe you've gotta drop it on it. Maybe you gotta drop it in the hole. I don't know. I reacted when I dropped it in the... Oh yeah, I remember, I remember. So you gotta drop it on him. Then he's like, oh no, I'm gonna go under the surface. Then... You get this. And by the way, it just fades away. Again, I keep hitting but anyway, then you drop it on top, and it freezes the whole surface, which apparently is one of his health. Water is his health. I like his sound effects. It's like... I totally dropped that in your mouth. Oh, there you go. Alright, we got this. Some people may wreck. I even recommend this stage, because this stage is rather short, you think about it, because there's no build-up unlike Sophie and the Squid. I'm not quite sure if the uh, second boss of this world, oh, oh dang, I hit him again. Do that. Come on, we can do this. Yeah, I like this, because then... Oh. <laughs> and anyway, boss time! Scary noises in Lava Lamp Larry's shop. Gobbo's worried about Larry. Croc, check it out. <laughs> He's like a big Gobbo. 
Now he's apparently big and he checks fireballs. <laughs> he's like, what you doing? Get off! So anyway, this is Lava Lamp Larry. This is probably one of the bosses I can't remember. Well, I can't remember. So I'm guessing you push Ice Cube all the way to... Wherever he's going next, which is signified by that thing up. There you go. Start to check fireballs, and then you get to do this again. I like the numbers coming out of the. There you go. Oh, there you go. Melted it. Check it out. Nope, doesn't do anything. Quick, run! I honestly cannot remember this boss. Can you just chuck it in the hole? Nope, doesn't work. Oh, you, oh, it takes two to chuck it in the hole. If he breaks it. Okay, so I, I understand now. Basically, you gotta try and push this into the hole. If he does that, then it takes two of the smaller ones in order to frost it over. I don't know why he's mad though. I'm actually gonna cross this one. It's a bit of a strange boss to be honest. But, credit the game, it's doing stuff different. Every stage. Oh yeah. Is this all the boss, or is this just it? Oh, that's the same question. Is this all the boss, or does he have like a second stage? I can't remember. I think he's supposed to actually hide, uh, go away from the ice cube, otherwise he melts it. Anyway, keep pushing, and we're almost done. Oh, I missed the first one. Go. Wow, that was it. That was honestly it. Ah. <laughs> anyway, thank you, Croc, for saving Larry. Croc did so well. Croc should get a medal. Maybe King will have one. Tell you what, though, you should see Swapping Pete. He's been spit up, but he's a real nice guy. He'll help Croc out. Anyway, that was it. Then these people are like, yeah. <laughs> uh, but anyway, yeah. So that was the Ice World. The boss was a little bit odd, I know, but besides that, you should go see Swap Me Pete, because he will send you to the next world. Uh, Croc, you are doing so well, the Cossacks are in your debt. They never forget a friend like my most humble self, but you must continue your journey. I think you might want to go to the land of the cave gobos. They are a most silly bunch. They might be able to help you. I Swap Me Pete will take you there. Oh, yes. And now we're suddenly... Ugh! Who you? You not mechanic or Dantini? I'm Croc. What's a mechanic? Ah, oh, never mind. Swap me. Pete sent me here. Ah, that's solved riddle. Bubba's kind of busy, but look around if you like. So anyway, we'll start this world on. Yeah, you may be going, what the heck is going on? What the heck? What the heck? But we'll explain all this next time. Okay, see you guys. See you kids then.